my name is Chi Siori. Today I want to make an introduction for our business math assignment. The objective that we make for this assignment is understanding on how business math involved in a business. Two is understanding on the difference between using the different method to do calculation of an object such as representation and salary. and it is a sole proprietorship business with 15 staff. The company staffs are from different departments and different tasks for each other. The department involved in the business is sales department, operation department, marketing department and production department and administration department. Employees department, Calvin, Vivian, Lily in sales department. Chan Wan King, Siti Binti Ramli, Amira Binti Ramli in Marketing Department. Sammy, Anilia, Alvin in Operation Department. Pearl, Sangeeta and Allies in Production Department. Amy, Cindy and John in Administration Department. Rate of Commission and Unit Pay for the Production. In Sales Department, for this department, the commission will give to the employee with 5% on their total sales. In production department, R and 20 is paid for the staff for each of the items produced. Uh, good morning, my name is Lynn Ayurate. The company was report. For the calculation example, for Kelvin, to find his gross earning, we need to multiply. 10 ringgit direct times number of work equal by 400 ringgit. And for commission, 14,400 total sales times commission rate 0 0.05 equal by 720 ringgit. And for his total gross pay, we need to plus the gross earning and commission equal by 1,120. And for the second example, for Chloe, to find the gross earning, same like uh, the previous one, Kelvin, and Chloe total gross earning is 360 ringgit. And for the overtime pay, overtime rate times overtime hours work equal by 667. 50 cent and to find her gross pay of his work 20 units times by 20 ringgit rate per unit equal by 400 ringgit and employee total pay We will plus the gross earning over time pay of this work. Then the, to the total pay is 827.50 ringgit. For the question number two, estimate the amount of company needs to start up the business. Uh, this is the table for the amount of company needs to start up the business. On our own, the amount is RM84,650, loan from Redemptive 50,000, bank A RM150,000, the total is 
find the interest for loan from relative, the formula is I equals to present value times interest rate times time. Equals to 1, 1,250. Okay, this is a set for our company. We had land, office equipment, factory equipment, and machinery. The total of land we had two hundred thousand, office equipment eighteen hundred eighteen thousand six hundred and fifty, factory equipment thirty six thousand, machinery thirty thousand. So for the total we had. Two hundred eighty-four thousand six hundred and fifty. Okay, there are two way to calculate depreciation, which is decline is value method and sum of year digit method. Hence, the rate of depreciation is twenty point zero seven percent. This slide show for the depreciation and book value for five years. Okay, this is the total depreciation for five years. Hence. The total depreciation of machine used by the sum of year digit method is two zero eight three three point three four. Let your company receive an invoice for machinery cost that on four of June from supplier B with term of two percent for fifteen day, and after this is no discount. If the invoice is paid on seven of June, that means three day from invoice. Payment equal to invoice amount minus cash discount. Discount equal to two percent or invoice amount equal to thirty thousand times two percent equal to six hundred. The payment is thirty thousand minus six hundred is equal to twenty nine thousand four hundred. If the payment is made on twenty eighth of June, that means a、uh, twenty four days from the invoice. So. Is already over fifteen days. There is no cash discount. Payment equal to invoice amount minus. Cash discount that is zero equal to thirty thousand. I'm Ivana. Our last question is based on the bank loan that your company has identified in Table One at six percent compounded monthly is to be amortized by twelve months. Calculate the monthly payment. Okay, so you can see that、uh, the formula to find monthly payment is a equal to p. Bracket i over one minus bracket one plus i to the power of negative m, whereby a equal to fifteen hundred thousand in bracket zero point zero five over one minus one plus zero point zero five to the power of negative twelve equal to twelve thousand nine hundred and nine ringgit and ninety six cent. And this is our amortized Station schedule. As you can see, that the beginning balance is fifteen hundred thousand, and the ending balance is thirteen hundred seven thousand eight hundred forty four cent, and the、uh, interest rate is seven hundred fifty, and principal rate is twelve thousand twelve hundred.
hundred, uh, two thousand one hundred and fifty nine ringgit ninety six cents equal to one thousand three uh, thirteen hundred seven thousand eighty four eighty four eight hundred forty ringgit twenty four cents. This is the conclusion of our business. The business plan helps to make a clear calculation of business. For example, method to calculate is